Coming up next, it's time for the man who can grow anything big and strong. It's Gardening with Maurice, broadcasting live from his garden. Howdy doodles, this is Gardening with Maurice, and I am Maurice. Ever since man was kicked out of the garden, he's been striving to get back in. I believe all of life's answers can be found in something as simple as a flower. It's stamen, it's pistol, it's pollen, just like me and you. We're going to the phones. Hello, you're on Gardening with Maurice. I am Maurice. Go ahead, call her. Uh, yes, thanks for having me on. I'm a big fan. Uh, I have a question. My melons aren't big enough. I thought they were going to keep growing, but they just stopped. My next-door neighbor has huge melons, and everyone just fawns over them. Oh, they taste so sweet. Oh, look how firm they are. What do I do? Ooh, I would love to see your melons. Look, gardening is a spiritual light journey where you become one with nature. However, sometimes nature needs some chemicals to, you know, kind of kick things into action. There's a fantastic fertilizer I use called Pituitera Zimi. Uh, it needs to be injected with a needle, so be very, very careful, and inject that right into your melons, and they will grow enormous. Thanks so much, Maurice. You're the best. Yes, I know. I know that. I've been at one with nature for so long now, I can't remember what it's like to sleep inside. <laughs> Next caller. God, I was on hold forever. Uh, I've heard that facials are great, really make you look younger. Oh, yes. <laughs> Listen, honey, I should know. When you look like a train wreck, you need a little makeup or some such. You sound like a lonely spinster with two pussies. Cats. It's the menopause, Maurice. I'm having hot flashes, okay? Taking a pause from men, huh? You know, I should try that. For your face, try nature's cosmetic camouflage. Cleopatra took milk baths with cereal each morning. Try tomatoes, too. The acid is great. It makes your face just peel right off. Hey, thanks, Maurice. That's me fertilizing mines. Enough of you voyeurs out there and your vicarious gardening. I I want you to join in on the fun when you stick your hands in the mystery of nature and you pull out a worm or a tuber. God, I love tubers. So plump and juicy. Hello, Mike from Prickle Pine in Los Venturas. Hey, Maurice. First time caller. My name is Mike. I work on my lawn and garden all weekend long because I got this raging Oedipus complex. And I like drinking beer and riding around on the lawnmower, too, because, you know, the vibrations are kind of cool. But what's really killing me is I can't seem to get these weeds out of the driveway. I tried napalm. I tried gasoline, of course. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Listen, I want you to listen to me. Are you listening to me, Mark? It's Mike. Okay, good. That was a test. Okay, I know what your name is. I know it's Mark. Now, listen up. Listen closely. I want you to pave over your entire yard. Okay? I want you to just pave it over with cement or ass fault or whatever. Listen, I have the Maurice Mansion completely covered in astroturf inside and outside, which, by the by, is particularly handy when some big football players come over and we have a little midnight match of ultimate disc in the yard. Now, when your lawn is beautiful and green all year long, you can focus on the important matters if you get my drift. You see, Gardening with Maurice is sponsored by the Happy Farmer. Yahoo! If you're afraid someone will steal your tomatoes, why not grow tomatoes in your closet indoors like me? The Happy Farmer, hydroponics, and more. Next door to Blotto's, I'm Maurice. Until next time, dig a hole and plant yourself. That was the show that generates more phone calls than any other on WCTR, Gardening with Maurice.